Hi everyone! Welcome to Lantern Making with Asa. Happy Mid Autumn Festival, everyone! And、um, I'll pass it on to Kimberly, who will begin the demonstration. Hi guys, my name is Kimberly. I'm going to lead you guys through how to make these gorgeous lanterns. So all you need is a sheet of paper, some tape, and a pair of scissors. So we are using some upcycled paper because we are sustainable. So the way you start is first you just fold it longwise this way, and we're just gonna cut a piece of strip right across the top as the little handle for our lantern. And then once you have your strip over here, you're gonna take this paper and then fold it hot dog wise, so just the short way. And then once you have your paper folded in half, like so we're gonna cut little snippets along the side where you folded. So just about an inch wide, however many you want. Just enough so that there's a little bit of space left on the top. And we're just gonna keep cutting all the way down towards the bottom. Once your paper is cut, you're gonna open it back up, turn it horizontally, and you can just bring in two ends and connect them into a cute little lantern shape. So you're just gonna overlap the two edges and then take a piece of tape or a stapler, whatever you have on hand, to bind these two edges together. Once you have the lantern all stable, we're just going to take the extra strip that we cut at the beginning, and that's going to become our handle. So we're just going to take both edges and then stick it in right through the top of your lantern. And there you have it, your own Chinese paper lantern. And then, of course, you can use whatever paper you have on hand, pattern or colored paper. You can draw on it, or just use some plain paper like we did. There you go.、Beautiful. And then, as we keep on making our lanterns, make sure you have your trusty slice of moon cake on the side. <laughs> so it's pretty important to know that、um, <laughs> Mid Autumn Festival isn't a holiday necessarily celebrated by just Chinese cultures. A lot of different Chinese,、um, a lot of different Asian, Asian American cultures celebrate Mid Autumn Festival as well. So I was wondering if any of you guys wanted to share how you guys celebrate Mid Autumn Festival in your communities. <laughs> Andy, would you like to share? Sure. <laughs> so. For Mid Autumn Festival, whatever usually what happens is what my family my family gets together.、Um, this year is a bit easier since we're already home, but、uh, we'll have a lot of food. My mom will make a lot of food. We'll buy a lot of mooncakes, and it's basically just a day of celebration of family and being together and、um, so、eating a lot of food and mooncake. Nice. What about you, Katrina? Me, I usually just spend the day with my family. My mom cooks a lot of food, and we just hang out together and eat food, cakes, and things. How about you, Emily?、Um, so, actually, my family does not celebrate Mid Autumn Festival.、Um, my I guess as a third generation Asian American,、um, we don't necessarily observe a lot of traditional Asian uh, tr- uh, holidays or, or、uh, traditions. So, Mid Autumn Festival to me is just something that I learned about at school. 
Yeah. Yeah. How about how about you, Violet? What what, what y'all do? <laughs> Um, whenever I was little, I remember my family and I would go out to the porch and like look at the moon and kind of think about, um, relatives in China and just like reflect on the holiday and eat mooncakes. What about you, Sarah? In my family, we like make, um, so basically we make really janky, um, mooncakes with uh like a community um that my mom started uh chinese like wechat community and we all like gather together to make mooncakes and then we donate them to the um, homeless shelter or not homeless shelter like the food shelter so that they can enjoy mooncakes but they, they don't taste really good so um but it's always fun because we get to full advantage as well so you did me um I am kind of similar to Emily. My family doesn't really celebrate Mid-Autumn Festival. I am half Vietnamese and half Malaysian. Um, and my dad, who is from Malaysia, is ethnically Chinese, but he didn't really like bring any of those traditions um, regarding like celebrating Mid-Autumn um, to America with him. But he does like call his family um, in Malaysia like on Chinese holidays like Mid-Autumn. Um, um, Anna? Yes. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so for my family, I'm a second generation um, uh, of Chinese heritage. So we do celebrate Mid-Autumn Festival um, uh, in my family. And usually it's a day where we all go back home. Um, if my grandparents can be a count, um, they usually make these. They're called zhongzi. They're like little rice. Um, dumplings thingies <laughs> I don't know but it has like the banana peel on the outside and then on the inside it's like rice and peanuts and stuff and I actually just my mom and grandma make a ton of these and then we freeze them in the freezer so I always have them in my freezer at home but they're delicious I usually just put some sugar on it and then my mom's been learning how to make mooncakes um so they have the mold and everything but um yeah, it's something that we just kind of learn to do together. Um, but yeah, every year when I celebrate, it just kind of gives you like a sense of community when you're with your family during this time. But yeah. Different from yours, Anna. We're not the biggest like cooker, or at least like my mom can't really cook and I can't really cook. Um, so we usually do the store-bought mooncakes thing. But like Andy said earlier, it's a lot easier this year to get everyone together at home. So it's a really great time to build a sense of community and just catch up with people that you um, haven't talked to or seen in a while. Um, have you gone, Karen? Well, um, yeah, like Emily and Sydney, like I don't, my family doesn't really celebrate Mid-Autumn Festival, but like, like Anna, my mom, like every, I know it's fall when my mom starts making like a crap ton of junzu and I just like, it's just like, uh, Kimberly and Sydney know, like I just have it in my freezer and I just like whip it out every time I eat it um but yeah I really love the smell of it and um yeah my parents don't really celebrate mid-autumn but like we do it we do eat moon cake and we have a good time with that <laughs> jump on some common themes with everyone else a big, I feel like a big part of like mid-autumn festival for a lot of us is like family and food and like every holiday of my family is like just whole bunch of food and a whole bunch of family coming together but like sadly it's with COVID and everything it's hard to like get all of our family together so I've just been like watching from the distance as my mom's starting to cook all the food for the holiday but um I am Cambodian but ethnically Chinese so I speak a small Chinese dialect called Chao Chao and there's a saying that my grandpa would always say um it's hot jet bong chai and that means the food is so good but nobody knows it so it's an idea of like oh we have like all these Chinese Asian cuisines but, like people in the world don't really know how good it is but like we are the few people who are able to like understand how good and how yummy it is. So I think that quote really like stands out on like the importance of food in our culture, especially with mid autumn festival in general. Yeah. yeah, so we hope whoever's watching this video, um, if you can't go home for a mid autumn festival or you feel a little homesick because you can't go home, maybe watching this video, making some lanterns with us, um, We'll kind of give you a little piece of home at UNC, but happy Mid-Autumn Festival. Thank you guys.